Hey everyone, and welcome to our first demo video of the Panther Term control board. Very excited about this board. I've wanted to produce it for a long time now, and it's finally here. Well, there's a little bit of code tidying up and a little bit of things I need to tweak before it's finally ready, but uh, it's like at 90% ready at the moment. Um, so just bear that in mind when you watch this video, okay? It's 90% uh, all to go. So, Panther Term, three channel operation board, uh, 2.4 gig. Uh, we have three channel input here. That channel is our switch channel. Okay, once the Panther Term receives 100% or full throttle on that channel, it turns on. We have a, then our gun control channel and our turret control channel. Immediately above our channel input, we have a programming port. Uh, we use that to update the firmware running on the micro that's uh, there on Panther Term. Above that, we have a Mako 4 output port. If you want to have IR battle um, or servo recoil, you need to attach a Mako 4. Here we have our power input, 7.4 volts max at the moment. Um, so just your normal two cell LiPo or your um, hang, well, your Tamiya uh, NICAD or, NI or NIMH. Uh, battery 7.4 volts in there. There is a voltage supply circuit and that of course provides our 5 volt supply to run all the circuitry and also to power our receiver so you don't need a separate BEC for your receiver. Here is our audio module. Now our audio modules all work so the audio, audio modules I mean they all work with all our boards so you can swap and change the the Panther Term modules with your Taipan modules and so forth. It simply pulls out. Okay, they pull that in and out. You pop that into a programmer, and then you can upload your own sounds onto Panther Term, your own sounds onto Taipan, whatever. So that's how our sound system works, these little sound module boards that you can individually program with your own sounds. They're quite cheap, so if anything does or would, not that anything does go wrong, but if anything does go wrong, you can simply just replace these boards underneath where that sits is our volume control pot. I'll put that out the side for a moment. Uh, now you might think a bit crazy once we put our volume, uh, sorry, our audio board back on there, we can't access the pot. Don't worry, there's a hole on the back of Panther Term so you can adjust the volume through that hole there. Next over, we have our high tension flash port. So you can attach a high tension flash unit there. Uh, I know your high tension flash has a five pin port, but it only requires three for operation, so you just remove that actual plug and just swap it out for a three-pin plug there. Speaker output, our Canon and our LED outputs are here, and here are our turret and gun elevation motor outputs. So that's our Panther Term board. Okay, here's one I prepared earlier. I don't actually have a Panther Term, so I've got it sitting to operate a you know the turret on a Panzer III hull. So Let's turn it all on. Turn your radio on first, as usual. Make sure your radio is on first. Now we have a Taipan controlled, sorry, a Taipan connected to Panther Term, so we can show you the IR function. Okay, it will operate without a Taipan, of course, but uh, if you want IR battle, Taipan. Okay, once it's your radio is on, turn your power up Panther Term. Okay, now because we don't have headlights on a Panther Term and we need some sort of indication that your power is on, I've got it so that the headlight turns on. Okay, it's solid at the start if you've got a, a Mako on until the Mako finishes, then it will go into a flashing mode letting you know the unit is completely ready. Mako has sent information to Panther Term telling you all its settings. Uh, so we're ready to turn the unit on. So we turn the unit on giving it 100% on the switch channel. There we go. Once we've turned it on, our machine gun light will go out. Okie dokie. So we're ready for operation. So let's have a look. And well, I'll run through the, um, the turret rotation first. Now, as I said, I need to tighten up these sounds, but uh, here we go. Okay, that's full rotation. It is proportional, so you can, you can slowly bring the turret round. or of course speed it up. Okay, we have our gun elevation. Okay, let's put, put our turret back into the middle. There we go. 
So there we have turret and gun elevation. As I said, I just want to fix up those sounds a little bit more to get them a bit more in sync and a bit bit more smoother. The rotation is, I mean, we've got all these wires under there, so all that bump is, of course, you standard hang long bumpiness. Anyhow, let's have a look at the cannon fire. So, of course, having the Mako connected up and servo recoil, you have your servo recoil. If you're familiar with Mako, you would have seen that it's now had the um, reload period is over, so you can fire again. And, and there we have it, machine gun. And you can hear there, it's got the after, the, the last shot of the machine gun, a la L-Mod. So um, the machine gun sound doesn't cut off abruptly. Cannon then. Okay, and of course, with the Mako being attached there, it's sending a uh, signal out of the IR LED, which is actually in there. So if you're in an IR battle, of course, you're going to be getting hit. So let's hit Panther Term. Now, how I've set it up is uh, with a Mako, of course, you can have all a whole stack of similar features as you would with a normal Mako. So you can have a light Panther term, three hits, a medium Panther term, which is actually six hits now, and a heavy Panther term, which is nine hits. Okay, and then the mouse setting has been transferred over from Mako to the Panther term equivalent, which I have termed the Atlantic Wall. So if you set Panther term up to be an Atlantic Wall, you basically have a virtually indestructible panther term that is firing the Tamiya two-shot kill code. So that would be quite devastating on the battlefield. Okay. Now what I have done, and I'll keep firing until uh, panther term is dead, um, unlike the usual operation of some of the units before, I've set this up so that when you're actually dead, it's all going to switch off. So you can't just reactivate it from your... And there we go, I've killed the Panther Term. Now the unit is flashing, and I can't go ahead and just switch the unit back on. So you can't cheat in our battle, be being killed and then flick your unit back on again. You have to physically go over and physically power off Panther Term. So on the IR battlefield, once Panther Term is dead, you know that turret has been knocked out. You need to go on the battlefield and turn it off. So that's uh, Panther Term.